What is going on everybody? It is Aaron Cates and welcome back to the channel. Now today we are finally getting some things done on the Ford. I have brake lines in, I have new battery terminals, I have U-bolts. We've got a lot of stuff to finish up on this today. I have been slacking on it. This side of the radius arm is completely bolted in. I still gotta throw some bolts in on the passenger side. We don't have shocks for the front. We don't have shocks for the rear. There are shocks in the rear, but they are not long enough. I just want to get everything buttoned up in today's video, and I want to take it on its first drive out of the yard. Then we've got a new transmission mount for it because the transmission mount is messed up, and hopefully I have everything just to get it moving out of the yard. Basically, I want my, I want my driveway spot back. I want to take this and put it over in this field next to my house and park it over there in the shade and do some paint correction and things on it and I want to jump back into building the Chevrolet. This is, this is my show truck. I want to make this a show truck but I don't want to break the bank trying to make two show trucks and I have to finish this for Daytona. This is my pride and joy. This is the one I want in Daytona the most. I'm going to stop rambling on. I have to go to Harbor Freight. We need some frame jacks um, and I might buy a hand bleeder to bleed the brakes by hand. But besides that, I'll pick you guys up when we get back to the house with everything that we're putting on the truck. All right, everybody, we have made it back from Harbor Freight. As you can tell, I have changed clothes. I don't want to get my good merch shirts ruined working on the truck. They didn't have the frame jacks that I was wanting, but they had these 12 ton jack stands. And as you can tell, they're already under the truck. And we jacked it up and put them on the frame as high as they would go. And sadly, with the 40s on, they are still not high enough. The axle at full, full droop, the tires are still on the ground. So I'm gonna go through, take all the tires off. Eventually, I would like to buy some frame jacks that actually go on the frame so you can jack this thing all the way up as high as you can get it and put them on the frame jacks and let the axle full droop because I have big future plans to make this thing a lot taller. Because I mean, let's just give a height comparison right now of it compared to my Chevy. And you guys know this is on 37s, this is on 40s. And as you can already tell by the, the roof height and the ground's higher over here, my driveway goes down. But right now it's sitting probably six, seven inches higher than my Chevy and I wanna go quite another ways up with it. All right, everybody, now that we see that the tires are off the axle, the truck is at full droop now, everything is just hanging. Now, everything over here on my tailgate is everything we're going to try and get in today. We'll start off with our brake lines because these are the best thing going on. As you can tell, these are blue brake lines. They're going to match the truck as much as possible. These are from Crown Performance, guys, and if you're new to the channel, anytime we install something on the truck, the links are always down below. Most of the things I buy are off Amazon. If it's not Amazon, there'll be a different link, so everything will be an Amazon link, all the way from lug nuts, transmission mount, brake fluid, U-bolts. They'll all be linked down below. These are gonna be the only things that will not be from Amazon. These are from Crown Performance. I'm not sponsored by Crown, bought these with my own money, but they were the only company that makes brake lines for these trucks that are long enough. And I gotta do some adjustment to where they mount to the caliper, but we'll be doing all of that on video. But these are 30 inch brake lines, so hopefully we'll have enough because this one right here, as you can tell, this is full droop and that sucker would be tight. And I'd, I would like to go higher, so that is not enough why we went with these. Then we got our brake fluid because we're going to have to bleed the brakes. This is our transmission mount right here. Lug nuts, U-bolts for the rear. Hopefully these suckers are long enough because those are too long so I hope these aren't too short. Now and this in the bag is all the bolts for the radius arms and the cross member. I'm not going to bore you with any assembly but I am going to show you underneath here what all we have to do today. So underneath the truck, we have to do this side for the radius arm. The passenger side is all completely done. All the bolts are in. We have to drill this hole out, uh, I believe one more down here and we will be set. But I wanted to get this tightened up down here. That way we can bring this backside up a little bit more. 
we have to do some of our cross member we have to adjust our sway bar that's why i needed this at full droop because we're on the sway bar or the track bar whatever you want to call it because i don't know all the terminology for these um the tires are sticking out more on the passenger side than the driver side so we got to pull the axle over just a hair to get it evened out we have to fully tighten up our steering when like i said we don't have any shocks when i do the new brake lines uh u-bolts you shot as you can tell there's a shock in the rear on that side and that's how i figured out that they are not long enough because that is at fully compressed it's on the weight in the rear and that shock is completely maxed out wherever to flex out the rear or anything like that that shock would either bind and hold that axle from moving or it would break so we need a longer shocks for the rear we need longer shocks for the front and i've noticed in my videos my average view duration that you guys are watching my videos is about 30 percent so obviously you guys aren't watching all the way through my videos you guys are skipping through so i'm going to try and shorten my videos up quite a bit i average about a 17 minute video so we're going to try and drop it down to 12 minutes so i'm going to stop doing all the time lapsing things like that we'll do a little b-roll here and there and i'm going to try talking less so we're going to jump right into this i don't want to talk too much more if you haven't already go down hit that subscribe button 92 percent of you are not subscribed would really help me out it means a lot to me but let's jump right into this Alright everyone, we have our first brake line off. This is the brake line off the driver's side. And without just looking at it, it's just like a normal rectangle basically. It's flat on all four sides. And then you come and you look at the new brake lines, which these are meant for the 80s to early 90s before they had this style fitting in the 90s where there's a second line that goes in right here for whatever reason. This is where they mount on the caliper. And as you can tell, there is a lip on each side. And actually, this rounded lip right here, we are going to shave down flat, just like this is. See how this is completely flat right here? We're going to do the same thing to this one. We're just going to take this lip off so it's completely flat and it can mount flat to the caliper. And guys, I am not gonna be leaving these red, but for now, everything's just gonna stay the way it is. I wanna get it running and driving before we do any cosmetics or anything like that. We're going to grind these down and get them on the truck and I'll show you the after. All right, before I start everyone, I would like to say that uh, my big tripod that I normally use to get straight down shots from the top, it broke unfortunately. So we're gonna be doing this with my small tripod. So I apologize if you can't see everything very well. We're gonna get right in to doing this. I don't have a vise, so I'm gonna be holding the brake line by hand. Um, this probably isn't the best way to do it, but it's the only way I can. Uh, I'm using a grinding wheel on here, not a cutting wheel. I'm gonna try and grind some of this down. And then if I need to get it smoothed out, I have a flap disc. Um, I've got hand protection on, so I don't mess up my hands. I am wearing eye protection. Just always safety first, guys. I wish I had a vice, but I don't have one. So we're gonna have to make do with just holding it with my hand. Let's jump right into it. All right, this one is now super hot. You still hot? All right, they're both still hot, so. I'll pick you guys up once it's uh, all completely finished and they're all cooled down and everything and give you guys a final look, but there's uh, your quick time lapse for it. Alright everybody, and this is the after for those brake lines, so if you remember, I'm trying not to burn myself to it's still hot, but there was the lip that went in the kind of curved L shape right here, but it's completely sanded down now. All I used was a grinding wheel 
and then the flap disc will get it smooth and let it cool down and then we can put our brake lines on put some brake fluid in it get the blades yeah blades bled brakes bled Alright everybody, tires are back on, brake lines are in, brakes are bled, we have new U-bolts in the rear, she's back on her own weight, no more jack stands, and we're going to pull the Chevy around and try and jump her off and see if she'll drive on her own. You know, that might be why it's bouncing like that. It's just a cool spring, you know? <laughs> good. Well, everybody, as you can see, the Ford is out of the driveway. <sighs> First time since, I think, February. This spot has been empty. But sadly, the Ford still does not have reverse in the transmission. It's really weird though. It's, it's there, but it's not there. When the tires are straight, it'll back up on its own. When it's cold, it'll back up. But for some reason, when it's hot and the tires are turned, going uphill, it will not back up. And I don't really know why, but that's gonna have to be something we figure out in the next video. So I'm gonna close this out before it gets any darker out here, guys. Speaking of which, I'm getting bit by mosquitoes. But I want to thank you all for watching this video. Hopefully you guys like the shorter style videos where I don't go too in depth and I don't drag it out for 20 minutes long. So hopefully you guys like this. If you did like this video, go down, hit that like button. If you liked what I post, hit the subscribe button for me guys. 92% of you are not subscribed. And if you liked what you see, come back for another video. Turn on that bell. YouTube will notify you when I upload. I'll catch you guys later. See ya.